guys welcome back to my channel today I want to share with you my recent product favorites I haven't done a product favorite video since I first started my channel back in 2015 so it's been a minute and my products have definitely shifted a whole whole lot and I want to share with you my product phase because I don't have a wash day routine so you don't really see what I use when I wash my hair when I condition my hair you just see what I use when I'm styling it so today we're gonna get into my ultimate product faves that I've been using that I absolutely love. So keep watching. I'm gonna first talk about shampoo and conditioner. As of lately, I have two shampoos I'm using. One of them is the Nexus brand. It's the Nexus Carafix Damage Healing um, Shampoo. <laughs> Here it is. So it's silicone free. Um, the reason I got this is because I was looking at something about how silicone is, silicone is bad for your hair. Um, you, well, you can get silicone buildup, and I know that I strain my hair a lot, and the products that I use, um, they do have silicone in them to keep them straight. And so I really needed a um, shampoo that didn't have silicone so that I could clean it. And a lot of the cleansing shampoos and conditioners that I was looking at, they still have silicone in them. I haven't found one yet. I'm sure there's some out there. If you know good cleansing shampoos that are silicone free, please leave them below so I can check those out. Um, so I've been using this and it has protein in it. That's why I wanted it as well because it has it's protein infusion with keratin protein and black rice. I have no idea what black rice is. That's not how I got it. I got it because it was um, it had protein and it was silicone free. And I know protein, you know, that builds your hair back together. And because I was, I'm still recovering from heat damage in the front, um, I cut off basically all of it. So I don't have any straight pieces anymore. I only have like loose curls that are, you know, trying to work their way back together. But I've been using this and I definitely noticed a difference. Um, I use this first and then I go in with my other shampoo because it's not very moisturizing, obviously. Um, but I've used uh, Nexus before. I use their heat protectant and I use their other uh, shampoo, but the other one that I used didn't have did have silicone in it, so that's why I decided to go for this one because it's a good brand. I like the brand, I like their products, and this is what I was looking for. After I use that shampoo, I'll go in with the Aussie Total Miracle 7 in 1 shampoo. And like this bottle is huge and it's cheap. I actually have like four of these laying around the house because I got a double pack. It was on clearance with shampoo, two shampoos and two conditioners in it. I think that's right. It's great and it lasts forever. It's so moisturizing. I'm not big on looking at products on the back, so put well, ingredients on the back, so you know it has all this sodium lauryl sulfate, glycol, this story, sodium xylen sulfonate, a whole bunch of you know stuff you can't pronounce, but. That's not what I focus on because my hair likes it. I go with what my hair likes. I don't really pay attention to the products in it. I don't think I ever wash my hair without using this. And then, of course, their conditioner is just as bomb. It's cheap as well, so this is really great conditioner. It has a lot of slip to it. And you get a whole jug of it for like $5 or something. And it lasts a really long time. To deep condition, I will use sometimes just the Aussie conditioner. But this little baby right here, the Miel Babu and Mint Babasu, I think that's right, Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. This is amazing stuff. Like, this is awesome. The only bad thing is it runs out really quick. I honestly can get, that's if I use it sparingly. Like, I, I maybe can get like four uses out of this. You see, it's almost gone. Well, actually, you can't see but you see there's like barely anything in there so I'll probably get one more use out of what's left but it's amazing and it has protein as well protein moisture replenish for dry and damaged hair I always go for stuff that has protein and moisture stuff for dry and damaged hair even if your hair isn't dry or damaged like why not go for the extra moisture unless your hair is just over moisturized and limp but I don't have that problem so I always go for stuff that's just really moisturizing that has protein because I strain my hair like I mentioned before so extra protein is good for me recently I've been doing twist outs I've been trying to lay off the flat iron for one 
it's summertime and you know when you're working out and you're out in the sun you don't really want to deal with all that so I've been doing twist out this is a twist out right here I think this is my best twist out yet I did it a little differently and my left side is cooperating normally it's kind of extra and I have I don't know it just doesn't operate as well as my right side I um, twisted down my roots first instead of just doing three strand twist free yeah three strand twist I twisted down my roots first so I gave it some more length and I deep condition normally when I two strand twist my hair I opt out of deep conditioning because I feel like well I'm not gonna be straightening it I'm just putting product in it and it's gonna be fine this time I deep condition and it's so much softer and like it's just like look at this it's just it's great so I think I'm gonna do that from now on when I even when I go to two strand twist my hair if you watch my two strand twist video which if you haven't I'll leave the link here um, I use these two products the as I am leave-in conditioner I use this first and then I use the as I am curling jelly as my styling product both of these together are literally a match made in heaven like I tried to go for I tried to try some products that I saw another youtuber do on her twist up and it, my hair was just not feeling it they were way too heavy I didn't use a lot of them like I used the same amount but you know you know made it work for my hair but it just didn't come out as good as it normally does so but these two products have never built me together and they're great they are pricey they're not super pricey um I can't recall I know they're over ten dollars each one of them may be close to 18 I could be wrong but they work really great and they last a long time together too the curling jelly is really light like I love this stuff look at this that's how it is like it's, it's kind of goofy but it's really light like both of these products are really light and my hair doesn't need products that are heavy at all. I need products that are really light that I can pack on but not pack on too much. And both of these are just like that. Another fave of mine, which is no new product to my hair care regimen, is the Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine anti frizz Serum. This is what I use to take down any, um, what is it called, wet set styling. So when I unravel my twist out, I use this. I don't use the oil. I've tried oils in the past. Um, I just They're just too heavy for my hair to use to take down a style. But this, again, like I don't know what's in it. It has a whole bunch of weird stuff. Ardenia, Spinosa, Kernel Oil, Prunus, Armeniaca, Kernel Oil, Benzoyl Alcohol, Linal Oil. You know, a lot of weird stuff that you don't really know what it is unless you Google it. But for me, it works. And I just rub this all over my hand and it gives my hair, it prevents the frizz that I need, that I need it to do. It prevents the frizz that I try to prevent having. And it doesn't weigh down my hair. And I can't stand weigh down hair. I also use this um, before blow drying my hair. When I'm straightening it, I rub it in my hands to smooth it into my wet hair. This isn't pricey at all. It did used to be like $3. Now it's up to maybe like $6. But you know, prices do that kind of stuff. But it's not pricey and it lasts a really long time. So this is a good option if you need help finding an oil that you can take your hair down with. I don't know how moisturizing it is, but it works for me and this is what I use to unravel any kind of flexi rod set, um, straw set, twist out, whatever. This is what I use. And I also use this to, if I need to, um, you know, just give it a little more shine, like I'll just go like this to it and it like smooths down, smooths down those flyaways. It's really good for that. My last but not least product is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Perfect Edges. I use this when I do any kind of like Senegalese twist. This is what I use as my product to like really hold down my edges. Like even like throughout my hair, I use this as I'm twisting it because it gets my root it gets my roots really, really straight and smooth and it holds. I also use this if I'm doing like um 
And what else? I use this on my edges when I have a twist out, really just on the part up here. Uh, but I don't do that every single day. So only when I need my hair to be slicked back. Like if I use, a, if I have a bun, a curly bun, I use this as my edge control. Um, um, that's really it. Only when my hair is in a natural state. I don't use this when my hair is straight. I don't use an edge control when my hair is straight. I haven't found one that works when my hair is straight that doesn't cause it to curl up. Um, and the only thing I'm going to put on my edges when my hair is straight is the Garnier Sleek and Shine Serum. I just put it, use a toothbrush to put some of that on my edges when my hair is straight when I tie it down at night. And that's how my edges stay straight. I don't have a problem with them getting frizzy or needing to slick them down or whatever. I mean, they do have like an extra hole or extra extra hold or something like that. I haven't tried it. Um, I don't think I've even seen it in the store, but I've seen people use it on YouTube. But this works great for me. So if you're looking for edge control, this is a good option. So those are all the products that I have in my current routine. I don't have a whole, whole lot of products. I do have old things that I'm trying to get rid of. Um, some of them I just use on my husband because <laughs> we have different kind of hair. Oh, back to that twist out. So remember I said that I tried two products on a twist out that I saw another YouTuber use? On my hair, they didn't work. But on my husband, I washed his hair and I used both of those products. And they did great for his hair. So that's just to show, like, just because something works on someone else's hair doesn't mean it's going to work on yours, but it can work on somebody else's. Well, which is obviously what I just said. You know, you have to try and figure out what works for you and how your hair reacts to certain things. But those are my products. If y'all have any other questions, feel free to leave them below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later.